inversion of control done through dependency injection okay what is loose coupling what is inversion of control so inversion of loose coupling we have already seen with user and car example and inversion of control we will be seeing with the, we will be configuring beans in XML file and we can get a bean from that XML file which will be injected with all its dependencies okay that we will see so here inversion of control container with a dependency injection so there you are asking for an object by passing some information to factory but here that means the control is with you but inversion of control you will not be asking you will just configure it and it will inject it for you you no need to call any factory classes method to get an object of some of the implementation rather you can configure that I need this then that will be injected that will be injected through the configuration this is what we call that means the control is not with you because the creation of dependencies is not with, within your control rather you have outsourced that creation logic to a third party here the third party we call it as a IOC container so now the container is responsible for identifying the dependencies associated with each bin and inject those dependencies when the object is needed okay so that is what we achieve using IOC and dependency injection so it is the reverse of your factory where you are you no need to call them rather it will call and it will inject but the funda is same as your factory next yeah inversion of control container that is we call it as IOC container and dependency injection objects created by the container are also called managed objects or beans because the objects are created by the container and it will have a life cycle associated with it in such cases your classes will be treated as beans so since the starting of the class I was talking about beans 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 what is a bean it is nothing but an object created by a container an object created by the container we call it as managed objects or beans because it will be those objects will be associated with a life cycle and the entire control on that beam would be with the container itself next the container can be configured by loading XML files or detecting specific Java applications on configuration classes so there are several ways that your IOC container can consume the configuration so here as I said there are two types of containers we have one is bean factory and the other is application context so they can consume the configuration either from the XML documents or from some kind of annotations we will talk about that more central to the spring framework is its inversion of control container which provides a consistent means of configuring and managing Java objects the container is responsible for managing object life cycles of specific objects so what is container responsible for creating the objects calling their initialization methods and configuring these objects by wiring them together wiring means injecting or associating types of dependency injection supported by spring there are two one is setter method dependency injection we had seen this practically that is using setter methods 
uh, container is able to set the value to the beam and the other is constructor dependency injection where your container uses the respective constructor to inject the values the respective constructors to inject the values yeah see here setter based dependency injection now we will deal with the two classes one is car the other is user okay see here how a car class looks like it contains two attributes or two data members they are name and per day cost that means a user is uh, supposed to hire a car okay it has getter method as well as setter methods associated with these two data members and if you see here user it has a reference of car and uh, the value of car object is provided using setter method that means someone will call this set car method by passing the bean of type car bean of type car which i am assigning it back to my local variable and when i say get car it will give me the car object that i have got through the setter injection this is the typical example and see how the beans are defined see here i have i am creating a bean with respect to user first first talk about this let me uh, define a bean for the class called car with the setter injection because i am using property tag which actually uses setter methods correspond to these data members that we understood by now okay value equal to renault duster and the paper cost is 10000 rupees and user need to have an instance of car because it has a data member that is car and the value for this car is i am referring to a bean with id car i am referring to the bean with the id car so this is what we call injecting the dependencies yes or no see here user has a dependency in the form of a car and car is a altogether a different bean so i am injecting the instance of the car through a tag or a, an attribute called ref then it will refer a bean with the id car so it found this that means it will create an object of car with this value set and it will be injecting this car instance for this property using setter injection let us see this example i have car class same the only difference is i had written two string implementation for our testing purpose you can have it or you you cannot it's up to you then we have a user class see it is as same as your uh slide okay next go to pom.xml sorry beans.xml see car how i have defined the car class as depicted in the slide nothing changed but i am fond of i20 so i'm going with i20 and the per day cost i was a bit greedy so i am going with uh, 2000 and uh, that's it next user it is referring to what a bean with id car see here just just uh, place your cursor here and say f3 it will take you to the respective bean see got it yes so now the beans are configured while using how i am using it 
for which I am creating an object. I am commenting this piece of code. I don't require this. See, I am saying that gut bean with ID will go with the ID for better understanding purpose. That is user. Okay. What I would do is I want an I want a bean with ID user. It returns me a user. That's it. And user has a reference to car, right? I'm getting that reference using getter method and I'm invoking to string method. See, now the dependencies are decoupled. Yes or no? There is no dependency with the car with the user because the instantiation logic, setting the values, which implementation of it, everything is using configuration. Say run as Java application. See here, forget about this and this. Just concentrate on this. Car name is i20 and paper cost is 2000. These are the values that I have passed. Understood the dependence injection now. What has done just now? The application container. What is the application container here? My file system XML application context consumed beans.xml file. That is this. And it had identified several beans with different IDs associated with different classes. And when I call get bean with user, what it will do? It will search for a bean with ID user. It found it, but it found a reference bean called the car. So it identifies that bean. It instantiate this class okay by setting these values using the setter methods and set this entire object for this property that means it is injecting this bean for this property it is injecting this bean for this property Got it? This is what we call dependency injection. Dependency injection.